My Lego house is done! Look at this, so cute. After what feels like hours has passed. I can't imagine how long a real house would take if just a little Lego house took this long to make. Although, I think it's also because of the fact that I had to put every one of these little pieces myself. You see guys, the same concept applies in construction. If you have to assemble every little single piece yourself, it's going to take a long time. And that's why, these days, a lot of people are choosing to use the new construction system. It's called Industrial Building System, or IBS, which I'm sure you've heard of before. You see, this is a process, really, that basically manufactures a lot of construction things beforehand. For example, you could manufacture concrete walls, or manufacture the roof, or even the steel structures. And then, all you have to do is put the parts together on site. Watch this. Concrete walls. Steel structure. And roof. And there we have it. You have yourself a lovely house. You see? So simple and easy. Which is why many construction firms today are opting for IBS, including our featured company, who is not only an expert in IBS, but also a one-stop engineering and construction service provider. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are here at Kim Loon Corporation, Berhad. Kim Loon Group is an engineering and construction services provider that specializes in infrastructure and building construction. They also do project management, industrial building systems, or IBS, and manufacture concrete products. Starting with their core business, construction and engineering, the company constructs shop houses, low and high rise residences, commercial and industrial buildings, along with roads, drainage, bridges, flyovers, and interchanges. As a design and build contractor, Kim Loon provides the full service from conceptual planning, design and engineering, through to the project's construction. Building upon their construction expertise, the company also focuses on industrial building systems, IBS, which is a construction system that uses industrial production techniques in the components production process or the assembling process. So a lot of the construction parts could be manufactured off-site beforehand making the construction process much more efficient. One example is the use of precast concrete and prefabricated steel structures, which are particularly useful for high-rise buildings or mass housing projects. Supporting the industrial building system is the company's other core business, concrete products manufacturing. Kim Loon manufactures concrete products for infrastructure and building sectors in Malaysia and Singapore. This include a variety of precast concrete products such as tunnel winding segments for tunnel construction, IBS components for buildings, and other types of products for different structures like highway flyovers or bridges. Currently, the company has two production plants in Malaysia. Over the years, the group has secured several prestigious projects, especially within the Iskandar region, such as the Perling Interchange, the Mall of Medini of Legoland, and many others. 
venturing into property development, Kim Lu launched over 800 units of Soho or small office home office. Office in Cyberjaya, Selangor called The Hive and another project called Taman Puturi, which includes over 130 units of various property types in Johor, in addition to acquiring many land plots for future development. So guys, this company definitely has a lot of activities within the construction field that provide very healthy support for each other's businesses. To which we're going to go find out more from our special guest, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome Mr. Sim Tian Liang, the CEO and Executive Director of Kim Loon Corporation. So Mr. Sim, first of all, since your company has quite a few businesses in this area, you have your construction, your concrete manufacturing, your IBS, property development, can you give us a general revenue breakdown of the different businesses? Yeah, the, for our, our core business uh, is uh, construction. Mm -hmm. So the construction becomes our main revenue generator, uh, consists of about uh, 80, 80, 80, or percent, uh, 80 to 85. Then the, for manufacturing, the concrete product is about 20%. Uh, so the property is uh, one, about less than 1%. Uh, I see. Uh, Have you just entered into the property development? So or? property development is a new, uh, new venture for us after, after listing in the uh. Busa. Uh, so we, are, we were listed in 2010. So we have started uh, our medium project in property in, in Cyber Jaya, a project called Hive. Uh, a, about 800 units of uh, this uh, Soho right. and retail office. I so see. this is our medium project. And there's uh, another smaller misdevelopment in Johor Bahru, huh? about 100 over, 130 over units of uh, houses. Right. We are both uh, in, uh, public project as well as private project contractors. So we do project for both sectors, public sector as well as private sectors. So for public sector, we need the infrastructure project such as MRT, highway, roads, and, and so on. Whereas private projects are mostly uh, buildings, uh, houses and uh, commercial buildings. Uh. Which areas is infrastructure or buildings growing strongly within the country? It varies. You see, like during recession now, the public project will be more because government are doing the fiscal policy to, to pump, pump start the economy. So there's mm -hmm. more, uh, at this moment, we have more uh, public projects in our book orders compared to private sectors. During good time, we got private good more more projects from the private sectors, just more housing and and uh, and, and uh, commercial building. Uh, right. Uh, so it, it depends on the economic condition of the, on the country. It varies. No? And generally, what's the average size of your projects? Oh, it varies because I think we. It starts in maybe 10, 10 million and above to, to, to 1 billion. We, we have, uh, have joint venture project for a Pembonio Highway in Sarawak where we undertake one project of uh, 1.4 billion. Mm. Uh, so the uh, project size also varies. Uh. That's why I say we are the construction supermarket. supermarket uh, right. uh, we've got big thing and small <laughs> project. <laughs> Margins like for your construction business? The profit margin varies on uh, the type of construction. Infrastructure, we have slightly higher margin. Building, we got less. Huh? And then uh, manufacturing, we got higher margin. So for manufacturing, normally we, we got a margin uh, before tax about 10 to 15 percent, uh, gross of property about 20 percent. Huh? And whereas for Building, we got less, we got maybe 5 to 7 percent. Eh? And for infrastructure, it could be 7 to 9 percent. Eh? And how long does it usually take to complete the project, or does that really depend on? You see, it, it varies from types of projects. Eh? Like housing project, normally within two years. Eh? For uh, infra infrastructure projects such as highway, it can be three to four years. Eh? So it, it, it all depends. So the book order will be able to sustain us about two years to three years. Yes. Yeah. Now in the near future, are you looking to focus more on 
con constructing for infrastructure projects or the housing? Because you said right now housing is pretty Slow down, down. Isn't yes. It, right? Yes. Housing is going down. So now uh, we will focus on government projects, be it infrastructures or building. Because government also build hospital, mm. uh, build our uh, school, you know? beside highways, roads, and uh, public transport. Uh, yes. We, we right. will be actively seeking projects from the public sector. Yeah. So it's very nice that the company also does precast concrete and IBS, you know, industrial building systems. Can you please explain to us a little bit about what IBS is? Yes. Yeah. IBS is a short form for industrial building system. So it's a method of uh, doing constructions huh, for building. So this is uh, using these uh, industrial building techniques huh, and uh, go to the pro uh, industrial production process, producing all the building components huh, uh, into a precast. So we can either use precast, uh, this uh, prefigurated steel or precast concrete. We use precast concrete because it's cheaper than steel. Mm -hmm. This is our company is focused on precast concrete mm. uh, industrial building system. Uh. So uh, when this component uh, building is dissected into many components, we will do all the precasting of this component in the factories. Then we will move these uh, uh, concrete components, precast concrete component, and assemble on site. Right. So all the components are do normally produced off site. Preferably in the factory like ours. Huh? You can also produce uh, off-site uh, in, uh, in the open yard, but it's not in you know, the control, not in the control environment. I see. So the quality could be different. Right. Where do you rank? Where do you rank? Our in, rank. Uh? Is this a <laughs> business, the IBS? Uh, I and think we are in the top 10. Huh? <laughs> they are, I think, uh, quite, quite a bit now. Uh, earlier, there are few, but now I think it's yeah, maybe 20. Uh, they are capable uh, of being uh, ranking in the top, top 10. Uh. So overall, what will be the future direction of the company? The future direction we, for constructions will be uh, continuously improve our IPS uh, system. Because this uh, system is keep improve with technologies, mm -hmm. advanced technologies, so we, we have to keep that, that uh, system being uh, updated mm -hmm. so that we can uh, have uh, efficiency uh, as well as the productivity we want uh, for the construction together with the safety because construction is a risky business. Right. <laughs> you have to be very safe in this business. So we have to safe fiscally. Eh? Right, right. Ah. Well, okay. thank you so much for today, Mr. Sin. Thank you. Financial Highlights At the end of 2015, Kim Loon's revenue was over 1 billion ringgits, or 9 billion baht, growing by 100% from 2010. Its net profit was over 70.7 .7 million ringgits, or 600 million baht, a growth of 93%. Its net profit margin was at 6.7% and ROE at 16.4%. Its PE was around 5.8 and PBV at 0.9. At the end of 2015, Kim Loon's corporation's share price was at 1.38 ringgits, or 11.8 baht. At the end of 2015, Kim Loon's market cap was over 414 million ringgits or 3.5 billion baht. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Kim Loon Corporation. Join us again next time for more company highlights with me, Pizza. Man, guys, all this engineering and construction work is really demanding. It requires a lot of expertise and know-how. I guess the only building I should be sticking to is building Lego houses after all. Looks more fun. See you soon!